back on the road. Very, very cold last night sleeping, but I made it through the night okay. And there's no wind today, which is awesome. It's been really windy up here, so I'm heading back to the lakes. I've been fishing. Hopefully, gonna catch some crappies, do another shore lunch, and maybe I'll do the full send again. I'm not sure, but uh, today's my last day up here, so just gonna do my best to take in everything and just enjoy myself. So. Every time I come back here, it just hits me the same every time. Every time I come up here, there's two loons and two swans. The swans are over on behind the point and the loons are over here. It's breathtaking. VMC Marabou Jig with the tinsel on there is a great, great crappie lure. Don't have to rebait or anything. It's awesome. Got the smaller one out of that little bunch. I'd like to catch it a little bit bigger if I'm gonna keep them though. What a difference it makes that it's not windy today. I'm able to see these fish so much better and not spook them. Now I gotta move forward, I'm gonna scare them all again. Oh, check that. Uh, did the bass. Oh! But a big crappie came out for it. Hello, slab donkey. Completely, completely absorbed that VMC marabou jig. I love these jigs because they have tinsel in them, so they flash, and that might be a keeper. There are some bigger fish than that out there. A little bit smaller, but one smaller one, though. A little bit, a little guy, a little bit of a little guy right there. They're heading this way, so maybe I can pick off a few more. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, I got a giant, I got a giant. I got a giant, I got a giant, I got a giant, oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 Lee smokes. It's a big boy. That is a big boy. Oh my God, you guys. There's some big crappies in this school. He's not tall, but he's very tall. Well, since today's my last day, I'm actually going uh, to call this a little video on its own here. So we're going to take a look at these fish I caught. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And we're just going to get some measurements on these fish and get them back in the lake. So most of these were all the same size, but that's 12 on the dot. That's about the smallest one in there. So I guess this was the smallest one in there. 11 and a half. Now we're on to the larger fish. 12 and a quarter on this guy. 12 and a quarter, so. Same size as the other one. Making myself look stupid. So 13 and a quarter on that one. A lot of fun. You know, I never was into crappie fishing. I can remember there's a lot of times I used to come up here with my with my family and we would fish for crappies and I hated it. And now all of a sudden I love it. All right, so I pulled up to shore and I'm gonna flay these crappies really quick and then we're gonna get ourselves a fire going and we're gonna have some shore lunch. So yeah, I don't do this too often, so yeah. All right, so I just finished up. I got my, my fillets here. And uh, basically, you know, when you're out actually on the water, especially the kind of trip that I'm doing right now, I don't have a lot of space to bring, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So basically what I do, or what I'm doing is I have a pan, um, some vegetable oil, and then uh, this Chef Robert's breading here is all one step, so you don't need any egg wash or anything like that. A um, bunch of different flavors. I like lemon pepper. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these fillets, get all the blood and nasty stuff off them, and then I'm just going to toss them right in the bag, shake them up and get some breading on there, and then I'm going to go get the fire started, and then I'll just pour some oil in the pan and cook them up. So pretty simple, but yet it uh, tastes great. So I'm going to get this done here, and we'll go start the fire. So I got the fire going, and now I'm just getting some breading on the fillets here. Toss them in the bag and shake them around a bit. You're just cooking until it kind of starts to get flaky. That's pretty much all you have to do. So we'll speed this up, but looking good so far. There you go. I think it's about done, so we'll get that uh, off onto the plate here. hot. It's hot, but it's good. Go out there and, and, and explore and, and find some somewhere that, that makes you feel like you. Do something that you haven't done before. Let's get out there and live your life, man.
So you only got one. So might as well do something with it, right? And just as a closer, uh, I spent my whole winter looking forward to this whole entire weekend. I hope I make some special videos out of this stuff. Don't know what'll happen with it, but got a lot of footage to go through. It's gonna take a while to go through, but just thanks for tuning in to this whole whole series or whatever I made and means a lot.